I put a poll on my community tab a couple of days ago and somebody commented and the person was like, Wendy, I love like a chit chatty video, like grab a cup of coffee or some tea and just let us know what's on your heart. I was like, ah, that's fun change and I'll do that. <laughs> so grab your tea or coffee. I'm drinking liquid IV, the energy one, because it's hot outside and I needed something cold and I don't really drink coffee like that anymore <laughs> ever since I got into liquid IV and yeah so that's what I'm drinking and let's jump in let's see how much of that I actually get to drink <clears throat> so the truth is I'm struggling and it's hard <laughs> for me to come to you and talk about that mostly because I feel like it's a constant. <laughs> a little while ago, I came out with a video talking about, you know, just how like I've been struggling. <laughs> I think it, like September or October, I came out with a video talking about how I've been struggling. And we're now in May and I'm still struggling. And so that, is difficult. I'm struggling in in a different way, but I'm still struggling nonetheless. And to be almost a year out, almost a year out, and still be struggling is kind of sucks. <laughs> I was hoping that by this point that I could come to you guys more from the other side to kind of like help you guys get to, you know, to this, to the, some point of comfort and like everything's like, you know, okay over here. But I haven't come over that hump yet. And what I'm pers what I'm really talking about is just <sighs> home management, like having arrived. You know what I mean? Like, like I I have arrived. I've got a routine, a flow. Things go. Things are running smoothly. And yes, we've got hurdles every single day, but that's okay because I have arrived at this like place of balance and what I'm beginning what I'm realizing is that what if it's not like what if you don't get to a point of just complete balance what if it is living where you are at and being at peace with where you are like I tell my friends all the time, I'm like, let me know when I have like a really good week <laughs> so that I can remember it. <laughs> so that when the weeks are hard, like they have been, that I could just be like, you know what? There was that one week in April. That was a good week, you know? And in a lot of ways, I'm chasing this dream or this mentality of happiness. I hope that makes sense. Like just looking for happiness, even though I know that happiness is fleeting, even though I know that what I should be seeking is contentment. And what I should be seeking is Christ, not necessarily a situation of happiness. So I wrote a couple of things down. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be helpful. I Okay, so when I come into these videos, I come in with a plan. This is what I'm going to talk about. These are the points that I'm going to make. This is 
how it's going to help you. Everything I do is very researched. It's very practical. It's lived experience and all the things and results that I've gotten from certain things that I've implemented. I feel so confident, y'all, in the homeschool curriculum things in the like this is what's working for us this is not what's working for us this is how we change things up when things don't work for us and just like I feel really confident in that I'm really struggling in the home management things and so with that it makes it hard for me to come to you guys and be like oh girl this is what you need to do you need to do this that and the other and once you do this that and the other everything will be mm, perfect like it will be laid out just like you need it to be laid out because I haven't arrived I'm not there and so it makes it hard for me to know how to show up in this space pretty much so life update I have a toddler now I got a one-year-old and it's really hard <laughs> It's so hard, y'all. Toddlerhood is like the sweetest, sweetest, snuggliest, cutest time to like see him growing and see him developing and see how he's changing. It's amazing. But then it's also really, really hard. It's like he's into everything. Like he's under the cabinets, taking stuff out. He's on top of the table. Like I feel like I spend all day chasing after him, like his personal maid, like just no, no, don't, 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 no, 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 no. And I just realized how like, just not childproof my house is like, that's just, that's just how we are like spending our days. And I feel like drained by the end of the day, just running around and doing all that and there are beautiful sweet moments within that but it's hard it's hard and hard doesn't necessarily mean bad it's not it's not equivalent but it's not easy you know what I mean and it's work I'm also finding it really difficult to connect with all the ages that I've got so I've got a one-year-old who I just explained toddlerhood and then I've got a four-year-old who's just transitioning from toddlerhood into that like preschool type vibe type area. And then I've got a six-year-old and he is, you know, growing. He's getting so big and so mature and so responsible. And then I've got my eight-year-old, or nine-year-old, oh my goodness, nine-year-old turning 10, and she is developing into this beautiful young woman who's going through all these changes and new emotions and different things like that, and just coming alongside her and helping her navigate through that. And I mean, me, myself, like I'm not a very like girly girl type person, like I'm not very mushy gushy emotional pinkies like I'm not that type of person and just like trying to navigate that with somebody who is that type of person and it's beautiful and it's wonderful but I'm just not you know <laughs> very left brain and she's very right brain and creative and it's beautiful and just trying to figure that out and navigate through that and then I've got this boy that's like bigger than me taller than me 5 10 150 pounds like just like grown man who's not a grown man he's like 12 so like what's going on you know where did my baby go and I'm just sitting here navigating middle school elementary school preschool and toddlerhood and the homeschooling now, the homeschooling, y'all, it's not great, but it ain't that bad. You know what I mean? It's like, I got this. But it's the hearts and the pouring into them and the, 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 one, the way that you talk to one ain't the same way that you can talk to the other. And the, like, <laughs> it's that aspect that is like, uh, I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm failing. And that's hard. And it's moments like that, that like, <clears throat> I think to myself, oh, this is what they mean that it's not my strength, but his strength. 
This is what they mean by, in my weakness, he is strong. Because I can't, like I can't do it all. Like I can't be all these different people to all these different people. And I really have to do a better job at leaning on Christ, whether it's meditating on scripture or getting into the word more or just like prayer. Like I have a friend of mine and she told me that her mother who graduated all her children told her that one of the things that she wished she would have done more is pray for her children. And so just like leaning in on that and realizing that God, God's got to show up because I don't have all the answers. I don't, I don't have all the answers. And in my own strength, I am failing every single day. But in his strength, all glory to him because I, 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 am not enough for them, but he is. And so when I show up in this space <laughs> and I share my tips and my tricks and I share different things that I've learned from reading different books or studying different methods and I come to you kind of like an authority on productivity, <laughs> just know that no amount of tips and tricks and strategies and resources and different things that I give you is going to be the solution. It is all God. It is glory to him first and foremost. Yes, we are called to be good stewards of our time. And I truly do believe that. But I think it's so that we can be an instrument in his hands. So all that to say, <laughs> I struggle with imposter syndrome a lot, especially in this space, because I don't feel like I've got it all together. But I pray that whatever rags that I've got or that I show up with to offer, that he can somehow use it to bless you and bless your home and help you in some sense. So for example, I started offering consultations, one-on-one -on -one consultations, because I found that there are specific questions that moms need or that moms have and for their unique situation when it comes to balancing all that they have to do as homeschooling moms. And I struggled real hard <laughs> with doing this. And I've, been, and I've been feeling like the Lord has been putting it on my heart to do it for a very long time. But I struggled real hard to do it because of the fact that I don't have it all together. So how can I help somebody else have it all together? You know what I mean? But what he had to remind me is that coming alongside somebody is not about having all the answers because he's got all the answers. It's about helping them navigate through, through trials and tribulations that you may have already gone through. It's about doing that research that you love to do. <laughs> it's about helping them navigate through these different things. It's not about you having all the answers. And so even right now, as I sit down and talk to you guys and have this chit chat that doesn't have a beautiful bow tied at the end of it and just have it perfectly worked out. Even as I sit down and talk with you guys about this, the Lord is still working on me. And so I hope that this encourages you. I hope that when you see <laughs> me, that you know that it's not necessarily about having it all together. 
it's not necessarily about balancing it all as much as it is about glorifying him and bringing glory to him. So that's what was on my heart today. <laughs> if you like these like chit chat type videos, these like raw, unplanned <laughs> videos, let me know in the comments and I can do more like these or I cannot. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to check out another really cool video of mine, check out this one right here. And until next time, bye y'all.